Hi everyone. Thank you for popping in on this video. Video. <laughs> I am going to attempt to make a template for a Kahamino braid to create a wire tree. Let me see if I can pronounce that again. Kahamino braid. All right, so this is what I did for a homemade template to create this tree. I hope that you'll enjoy it. Give me a couple of thumbs up if you did. Any questions or comments, put them below in the comments and enjoy. Gathering my things together, I took a saucer, a black marker, a piece of soft styrofoam, piece of cardboard, a bunch of rubber bands, and now I'm making the template. Using scissors, I'm cutting out the cardboard the size of the saucer that I used, and now I'm cutting out the soft styrofoam. If I used the hard styrofoam, it would be using it once or twice and then it would kind of crumble, if you know what I mean. There's like different kinds of styrofoam out there. This is the soft stuff. All right, I'm putting rubber bands around it like a sandwich and making a center hole on both sides of that template. And now taking the rubber bands off. Now I'm going to take my exacto uh, knife or my box cutting tool and scoring the center of that cardboard. Also, I want to make the same hole in the styrofoam, so I'm going to mark that also. If you take notice though, I'm not going to make the hole complete. I'm just going to put an X in there. Just an X because I'm thinking I'll stick my wire in the middle of that hole and it should stay without too much of a problem. Not sure yet, but we'll see. Okay, I'm scoring and definitely making the holes in the cardboard now. Everything should match up. Yep, looks good. All right, now let's apply some glue so everything stays in place. Now for the other side, a bunch of glue. All right, put those rubber bands back on and let it dry. Hey, don't leave your box cutter open. Always close it. <laughs> All right, now for the wire. The wire. All right. I used 150 strands of 22 gauge copper wire in a 24 inch length. And for some crazy reason, I decided to tape the bottom and then add another rubber band on top of it. I added one rubber band in the middle and then one on the very top. Then I took 36 strands of 22 gauge wire that is 36 inches long and I decided to twist those about two inches in and then put a rubber band around that. For what reason? I don't know. I mean, I know it's not going anywhere. I twisted it pretty tightly. Now, like I said, I used 36 strands of 36 inch length, 22 gauge wire. But you can't divide four different sets into 36. So I've got a few left over. Each set 
divided into four, I took eight strands, eight strands, and then the extra wires, I decided, <laughs> get this, for some stupid reason, to push the extra wires up underneath the rubber band in the center and then up underneath the rubber band at the top. I don't know what I was thinking, but yep, that's what I did. What I'm thinking is for the four different sets of wire, I wanted to surround what is going to be the center of my trunk system. So eight pieces of wire, four different sets. I'm taking that and putting it on the outside with the 150 strands in the center of that. And there I go again <laughs> with another rubber band to secure everything in place. Okay, more rubber bands. I'm just hoping that I don't forget to take these rubber bands off of this copper wire when I need to. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I guess I really want to make sure that my wire is secure. Okay, back to the disc. I decided the glue held, but if I make some slices, at the ends where I put the dots, it might come apart. So I'm just securing um, all of the work that I did prior to. So I'm taking duct tape. <laughs> There's so many things you can do with duct tape, but I'm taking my duct tape and I'm tearing it into thinner pieces and placing them around wrapping the disc in between the dots that I made, which I have to say after the fact, it didn't make any sense. Make your dots after you secure your template. Okay, couple more pieces of duct tape around those edges to secure everything down in place. You know, you can never use enough duct tape. All right. I have my duct tape in place and I'm ready to get started. Okay, so here we are and I'm working on this weave that I was so inspired to try. So here we go. So this is the top and I've got four sets of wires, 22 gauge, four sets of wires, 22 gauge all the way around my circle. And me trying to explain this. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. All right, so this is what I'm getting. You're taking your first set of wires and overlapping only the first wire. Taking the set of wires next to the one that you just placed, taking it out, overlapping the next set setting it in, going to the next set of wires that is right next to the one that I placed and overlapping and setting it down. Going to the next set, the neighbor set, going over the next and laying it down. But now you've got to go counterclockwise. So it's taking the top and I made myself a little T for the top 
bringing it over, lapping one, taking the next set, overlapping one, taking the next set, overlapping one. All this time you're doing that, you're keeping your wires as uniform as possible, taking this last set, and overlapping. Now, that is one complete set. Now, for me, um, like I have seen on other YouTube videos, it is best to restart from the beginning. So center your wires again, top, bottom, left, right, and start the sequence over again. Okay, a little bit of time lapse and go. So, taking from the top, keeping my wires uniform, overlapping the first set of wires, pushing it down, grabbing the next set, overlapping one set, taking the next set to it, overlapping that set, taking the next set, overlapping that set. That's one. Now I've got to go backwards. Taking the top, going counterclockwise now, overlapping this one set, taking the next one to it, overlapping that set, keeping my wires uniform, picking up the next set, overlapping that. One set, picking up the last set, and bringing it to the top. Recentering everything. It seems like when I'm working with the two top wires, they kind of stay at the top, but then recentering the rest of these wires so I know where I'm coming from. When I and first starting this, and this is only the very first time I'm doing it. It was a little confusing, but recentering my wires seems to work. So one more time. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. My chipmunk voice. Okay, here's some more. Taking from the top, overlapping one set, and putting it down. Taking the next set to it, overlapping one set, placing it down. Taking the next set to it, overlapping, keeping my wires uniform and tight and down, taking that next step, and up to the top. Now to reverse, counterclockwise, pulling from the top, and crossing over, grabbing the next set, crossing over, taking from the next step, crossing over, taking from the next set, and crossing over. Okay, that was another set done. Recentering my wires, so I'm not confused. You guys gotta try this, it's pretty cool. I am so appreciative of you guys um, you know, just the incentive, the inspiration that's out there to give this a shot. This is going to be the trunk for uh, a tree that is to be created. And this is what it's starting to look like underneath as you do this wrap. Or this twist or this, this braid, this is what you start to get. And I hope that you're going to see this. It's pretty cool. Now I have all of my wire already inside that I want to work with later. Now you can see where it took me a little while to get this figured out, um, but most of this is going to be my trunk system anyway. So there you go, guys, inspiration. You've got to try this. Okay, after working on this for a little while, I have come to the end of my 36 inches of doing this weave for this particular wire tree. All right, let's see what this looks like underneath. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. So this is what I started with, my wire all taped up. I don't know that that was necessary, but it did help me get all of that wire through uh, this, um, this, this center of my, um, my board that I'm, that I'm working with, my homemade board. <laughs> All right, and this is the braid, and you can see where I kind of started. It's kind of loose. It's not really, you know, really um, uniform. But as I um, got 
uh, better and into a routine. The other thing that I'm doing um, is I'm pushing down on uh, what's here. So you see that this is kind of spaced uh, evenly and then I have it down here is nice uh, nice and tight. I kind of like uh, that effect for what I want to do. So I have been um, pushing this uh, down in here, but I have um, probably about eight, maybe nine inches of weave here that I can use uh, for this particular tree. And then I have all of the this wire up here on top. So yeah, guys, this is great. You, you know, um, to be inspired to try something different, I say thank you. I hope that maybe I'm inspiring you. If you haven't tried this yet, it's um, cool. It is confusing. It is fun to see what it is um, that you end up with. That was so much fun. You've got to try it. So I did complete that just that last step and now I am ready to take it off of that disc. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we are, and I am going to take this off. This homemade disc that I created. I didn't want to go into the expense of getting one. I don't know that I will yet, but I'm pulling it through. All right, this is what I got. So for the very first one, I see that I have some tightness here that I kind of messed, messed up because I am kind of pushing it down. I want to get the um, this weave work or art weaving. Um, I'm not really sure if that is right but because this is um, going to be my trunk system I don't want it to be completely uniform um, a lot of trees that um, I create I want to make them look as natural as possible so here we are I'm pushing everything down this is going to be my root system. This will be my tree. All of this wire here um, I placed before. Like I mentioned before, it is 150 strands of 22 gauge copper, uh, 24 inches long till probably about this point. And then I used 36 strands of 22 gauge copper wire in lengths of 36 inches. So this is what's left of the 36 inches. Well, that was awesome for a fun day Sunday. I hope that you enjoyed this part of the video. I will have a part two for a continuation of what this tree will look like when it's complete. Until then, guys, I hope that you're having an awesome day, and we will talk soon.